right, welcome to Cooking Live with me, Tiffany Webb Lee. It's so good to see you all today. Um, so this is pre-recorded today. Um, until I'm able to fix all of my internet shenanigans. Um, right now I have a guest with me today. Everybody say hey, Mason. Hi. So today we're going to cook. What we're cooking today, Mason? Um, what do you gotta look at it? You the one should know what we're cooking. Chili con. Carne. Chili con carne. And carne is a Spanish word for meat. So that's what the con carne means. Um, so um, where'd you get this recipe from, Mason? Off of a Texas book. A Texas book? Uh, it's called Texas. It's called Texas. And so this is a book that he has been reading um, all about Texas. And uh, one of the things they said that Texas is specialty is what, Mason? Uh, chili? Chili. Do you like chili? Yes, I love chili. You love chili? Okay. So Mason is actually going to cook this meal today, and I'm so excited. I'm so proud of him. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to use the um, recipe from the book. I'm going to send the picture of the recipe as well, and after a while, after we get to taste it and see how it goes. So this is our first time using this recipe, and it's a kid-friendly recipe. So let's get started. So parents, you might want to help your kids in the kitchen just kind of monitor. Okay, Mason, so tell me, what's the first thing that we do? One tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, so pour it over the pan to make sure if you accidentally pour it, be very slow. All right, and then what do we do? We put it in the pan. We put it in the pan. All right, and then we make sure we put our lid back on so that, um, that's fine, you can put that down. So that it doesn't waste, okay? Now. Two cups of chopped onions. Two cups of chopped onions. So what did you put the uh, heat on? Medium high. Medium high, okay. And then it says, uh, add onion and pepper. All right, so you're good. Until onion is soft. Cook until onion is soft. All right, so we're gonna add the onion. Ooh. How much onion is it? One, uh, two cups. Two cups? Okay. So this whole thing would be about two cups. All right. Go ahead and just dump it in there. <laughs> Good. Because onions make you cry. Yeah. Then what's next? Okay. Oh, you want to make sure you get it all, huh? <laughs> okay. And what's next? Um, what's that in your hand? Oh, bell peppers. Okay. One cup of bell peppers. All right, a cup of bell peppers. Why do you think we need onion and bell peppers, Mason? So it can bring out the flavor. All right. All right, and you can go ahead and put those two items over in the sink while we allow this to cook down. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the um, onion and bell pepper cook, cook down. Um, so that we can get the flavor. All right. Okay. So, so while we're doing that, is there, what do you want to tell me that you learned um, in this book about Texas? Tell me some interesting things that you learned. Um, I learned that Texas is the s number one place for cotton. What? Didn't know that. Woo. Any other interesting facts? Um, that Texas is a um, uh, has a a uh, large population. It does have a large population. I'm putting him on a uh, sorry. I'm putting him on a uh, at the last minute notice. Okay, so I'm starting to hear some sizzle. So what do you think we should do to the pot? Uh, Maybe stir it up a little bit. All right. We want to make sure all the onions and the bell peppers get a chance to get some oil on it so it helps it sweat a little bit. It smells weird. For now. <laughs> all right, just stir the rest of the pot for me. All right, we're going to put that spoon away and then I'm going to get like a wooden spoon. Probably. Okay, so, um, 
probably the one without the hole. He chose the one with the hole, y'all. Probably the one without the hole. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, what's next, Mason? Um, the next thing is a pound of lean ground beef. Why lean? What's so good about lean? It's less fat. It's less fat? Okay. Yummy. So now, does it still smell, smell weird? No. <laughs> Smells good, huh? All right. So, what are we going to do? Um... How can you open that? What's the easier way? Cutting it. Okay, the scissors are here. Okay. All right. Which part do I need? This part or this part? The scissors part. So what I would do is I would insert it. Wait, wait. Just kind of stick it in like a knife. Yes. And just go along the seam. Yes, that's the seam. Good job. Am I cutting the bound beef too? Ground it's okay beef. if it gets cut a little bit. And then you kind of open it and just drop the packet over the pot so it has blood on it well actually i've always thought that it's blood but that's a preservative that they put in the ground beef try not to drop it i would do it over the uh, pot there you go flip it upside down and just kind of squeeze it out push it out like yeah mm. a little bit lower so it doesn't splash good job mason very good thinking Use a spoon to scoop the rest out. I'm gonna get all the meat. You're gonna get all the meat? So this could last for a week. Okay. Now, although I don't see on the recipe where it says to put it now. Oh, what do you think would be good? It says one pound of ground beef. Right. No, no, I'm saying I think it'd be good to what to put on this ground beef that would be good. You know? Oh, add meat after. Right. No, this, yeah, we did that part, so you're doing good. Yes. Squeeze that part out. All right. And then throw we that have in to the saute trash. it. What do you have in there? So we have to let it cook down with the onions. The onions get soft. That's what saute is. Oh. Now, what do you think we should put on this meat so it can taste flavorful? All right. I think you got it all. Go ahead and throw that away. Okay. So. What should we put on the meat? It's not in the directions. I just looked. What, it, what would mommy do? Um, what would we put on the meat to make sure it's, it's good flavor? Salt and pepper. It's not on there right now. It's not on there. I know. We can't have unseasoned meat. Not in my house. Yeah, but course we got this much stuff to Yeah, season. but it'll be seasoned the beans. I'm going to put a little pepper and salt. Do you mind getting the salt for me, please? Just so the meat is clean. Um, right above me, that's fine. Can you get it? Oh. Oh. Got it. Okay, I can't get it. hold it. Don't drop it. Hold it right there. <laughs> I'm gonna taste a little salt. All right, now go ahead and stir the meat up. Okay, then break it up. Kind of like chop it. Mm. Like oh, it's this. getting brown. Like it actually, is. Like beef. Mm. It is beef. <laughs> Because guess what might happen? It might flop it might out. Flop out. Yeah, I'm not gonna be happy if it flops on the floor. Mm. The onions are getting mushy. Right. That they're what they're doing is sauteing. Yeah. yeah. Hey. They're getting soft. So continue to. So let me show you. So you're gonna continue. No, no, no. Don't worry. And hold the camera for mommy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of hold the pot when you do that 
to make sure that you have control. And so you see what I'm doing? I'm just chopping it up to kind of make sure that it's like small bite sizes. And this is the Texas recipe. Book. It's too close. They can't see it. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, Still too close. The official dish of Texas is chili con carne. This is chili Tex con carne. <coughs> con carne. Mm -hmm. con carne. Okay. And so that's the chili right there. Okay. That looks delicious. And I think ours is going to be good. So now you can finish chopping it up, Mason. Okay. This looks, smells good. It smells like. Don't put your nose in it. Why do our kids like to put their nose in everything? <laughs> It is. Don't lift it up too high. Kind of tap it on Looks the yummy. side to let the onions off. Looks yummy. It does so far. So go ahead and put it down on the side. And first of all, get a paper towel and that way we can lay it on the counter. Okay. Let me close the doors. Thank you. Now, what do we do next? Um, add beans and remaining ingredients. Oh, wait, hold on, Mason. Something happened to the camera. It's off. But. All right, so now what do we do? Oh, okay. We're back. Okay, so what do we do? Um. On the meat browns. Oh yeah. Uh, we pour all the remaining ingredients. You pour all the These remaining. These are ingredients. some of them right here. Okay. Here you go. All right. So what are the? What's the next thing that we do? What's the remaining ingredients? Um. Look on your ingredient list. Uh, there are tomato paste, kidney beans, pinto beans. I mean. Mm hmm Um. The camera turned off. It's okay. But we'll it's it still on. listening to us. Okay. It's so this is what I would do. I would, if I were you, put in the garlic next. Because you always put the garlic around the time you put your onions and stuff in. So how much garlic do you need? Um, this garlic smells good. All right. Don't put it so close. When you put it so close, people can't see. So I smell it. it. Smells good. Okay, you. How much do you need to put? Um, Only my kid would think that garlic smells good. I don't know why. How much two garlic? Teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Are we sure? Let's yeah. see. Two. Yes, two tables. No, it says two teaspoons. Two teaspoons? Yes. Those are the small ones. Good job. Do you see one in there? This is about one. All right, let's see. You're right. It says teaspoon, right? Oh, there. I guessed it. Yay. Okay, so how many of those you need? Two. two All right, so go ahead and put the two teaspoons really quick. Because I think our meat is just about done browning. Okay, that's not two. <laughs> that's that. I mean, that's not one. That's more than one. So if you want to level that's it about off, that's one and a half. Right. right. So kind of take a little bit off. So there we go. Scrape it against the side to kind of level it. There we go. One. Mm -hmm. and one more. Mm, get some of the juice too. No, we don't want that juice. That juice kind of doesn't make it taste good. Oh. I would drain the juice off. Okay. That. Normally when I cook. I don't like the juices of anything that's in the can because it takes away from the flavor. You kind of want to build your flavor in it. All right, so I would mix that in. Go and put that um, up. Good job. So I'm gonna mix it in for you, and then you tell what you put in the next ingredient. Mm -hmm. 
what's next. Yes, we do. All right. Um, so what's next? So the next thing you need to put in, Mason, I will put in all the other ingredients and then leave the rest of the seasoning last. So what do we have? What kind of beans do we have? Um, pinto beans. And how many? Uh, 15 ounces right here. Right. So how many 15 ounce cans do we use? All right, let's go ahead and put those two in. Let's All right. Out. <laughs> Only you. Only you would have to double measure. Just pour one in. Everybody on the um, internet does not have time to wait on you to do one side and the other side. <laughs> They're trying to get it done because they have other things to do. All right, just put that down on the side. We'll throw it back uh, Whoa, in the trash later. I didn't expect that. It's okay. It happens. All right, put that on the side. What's next? Okay, um, what else is in a can? Tomato paste. I would do that one last. Okay. So. That tomato paste. What's this? Uh, this is chili ready diced tomato. Diced tomato. Do we use a whole can? Uh. One 14 ounce can of pasta ready tomatoes. This so. is 14 ounces. All right, so 14, remember not, not high, you want to pour it low. High. Okay, you want to pour it low so it doesn't what? Uh, splash. Right, we go. Go all ahead and just around. pour it, and you can stir it all around in a second. Okay. All right, now what's next? Tomato paste. Tomato paste, how much? One. What? One six ounce. All right. So, would it be easier to get another kind of spoon? Yeah. It would. All right. And so, what kind is that? Is that whole can is six ounce? It is. So you're gonna just empty the entire can. It smells like tomato sauce. It. Okay. So now, what do you put in there, Mason? You're putting. You went and got the tablespoon. Do it over the what? Pot. Okay. And then you're putting three what? Three tablespoons of what? Um, That's chili powder. One. Uh, one. Next one. Pour. All right. Whoa. Two. And then and the then last one. one. Okay. Oh, three. three. All right. Now, oh. the last thing we need to put in is the bay leaf. So go ahead and put your bay leaf in there. Is it really new? I don't think so. I just think, oh. yeah. <laughs> and put one bay leaf in there. I didn't know that they used bay leaves for, um... So, um, I need to put the bay leaf in there. Alright. Boom. Boom. Now what do we do? We stir it up. Stir it up. It looks like glop. It does. Let me help you stir it so we don't make a big... Looks like... Mmm... So we're stirring it up. stirring it up. And how long do we let it cook down? We cook it for about one hour. For an hour. Mmm. Uh, stir for one hour occasionally. Okay. Remove and bay leaf before serving. All right. And we're going to put some cornbread with this and cheese. Thank you all for tuning in with us on Cooking Live with me. Well, cooking with me, Tiffany Webley and Mason. We had a great time today. You did an awesome job. We'll post pictures of what it looks like all 